YTBC what's the deal now I've already done a prospect watch video on this young man Alexander Teslenko um, he's a Ukrainian fighter and he moved his um, pro career he migrated to Toronto um now we know Eastern Europe has produced some of the greatest you know prize fighters in boxing history whether you guys want to hear that or not and you know over a hundred years later the story remains the same in some ways um, you know guys like this Victor Postal and Lomachenko just to name a few but particularly the uh, heavyweight division we know the last 12 years you know 13 shit 16 years or so now the Klitschko brothers have put the Ukraine on the map you know um but this young man man just with the eye test now I watched a few of his amateur fights here on YouTube he's only 23 he's about 6'5 220 pounds you go watch this young man's second pro fight the other pro fight I couldn't find but it was a disqualification um who was he fighting uh it was Travis Fulton that fight is not on YouTube but he from what I've read he was giving him the business and Fulton just fouled his way out of the fight um but you watch Teslenko fight man and you look at the footwork you look at the types of combinations he throws you look at the hand speed you look at uh, the way he goes to the body the way he faints um, the pull counter he that he can use this dude does not look like uh, this was his pro debut I'm watching his pro debut he only has two fights he's 2-0 with one knockout this does not look like a pro debut now you can say the guy he's fighting Sandor Belog is a guy that uh, he guy had a winning record, but he's a lot shorter. Um, doesn't look like he's in nearly as great a shape as Teslenko. Um, very limited, puts up with a high guard and was going on his back foot. So you can say that Teslenko was fighting clearly downhill. Okay, cool. But it's just how he's setting things up. This young man is very polished for somebody, man, that's making a pro debut. In the amateurs, he was a great amateurs, um, amateur boxer. Out of the Ukraine, he was... I believe his amateur record was 224 wins with 23 losses so a great amateur career now we know always the amateurs doesn't necessarily roll over into the pros but man this dude does not look like he's just starting his career um like i said just look at the way he works i'm gonna leave this fight in the description box i had to do another video on this kid man because i went back and i'm just watching this again in the eye test he just looks incredible now again it's his first pro fight everybody's supposed to look incredible but usually some guys come charging out you know say the guy's a huge knockout puncher he'll come charging out getting a knockout in the first 10 seconds or 20 seconds that's cool too you know but i like to see what they can do as far as setting up shots because i know you're not gonna knock everybody out i don't care if you knock out your first 30 opponents you're going to get somebody that's going to stand in there and take you the full distance um so i just wanted to see how he works and this was scheduled for a rounder man and uh it's how he's breaking Balog down uh it's the face the way he's using his jab there was one time it's just his footwork man is pretty impeccable for a guy that's uh just starting his career uh he he threw a right hand and he's fighting out of orthodox and he threw a right hand but when he threw the right hand he kind of let his uh he followed through with his right foot so he was out of position and i was like man that's kind of not what you want to do is uh you know walk towards your opponent like that because you don't want to square your shoulders with your feet but right when he did that he turned a quick straight left it was almost like he planned to do it and it's like little moves like that that comes from just rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds of training and being in the gym and working on your footwork um he does a lot of subtle things that you wouldn't expect a guy with you know one fight to do you know he just does a lot of subtle things with his shoulders with his you know the way he faints the way he's setting up punches he worked the body early came out and he hurt Balog upstairs pretty quickly and then after that he started going to the body he just switched it up. He buzzed him, and then he started going to his body right away. And then Balog started to protect his body, and then he started getting hit back upstairs. It was just like he systematically just broke him down over a quick few rounds. It's just the way he did it. I'm very impressed by this. Um, again, I've watched a, I've watched a, a plethora of uh, prospects. We all know that I have a prospect playlist with about damn near 60 prospects. And uh, just for a guy, you know, now I've seen some impressive fighters, you know, um 
Marius Breedis and Adrian Granade and Antti and Joshua when he was coming up and Joseph Parker when he, you know so I've watched them Isu Agano, Oscar Rivas, Huey Fury I've been impressed by a lot of guys you know but um man I I, I don't know man it's if 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 his chin can carry over and he can show that not necessarily he can stand there and just take a punch but he can uh, take a shot without falling down and just giving up or you know his chin isn't a uh, weak at heavyweight because I've heard him say that he can possibly make cruiserweight you know but he's a solid 220 I don't really see what else he can lose on his frame to get down to, to 200 pounds you know although I, you know we've seen uh, Steve Cunningham who's ripped to shreds get down back to cruiserweight always not a big heavyweight he comes in at like 209 207 whereas uh Tislinko comes in at 220 but the way he was setting up these lead uh hooks left hooks and lead right hands and it's in his footwork um man he he looks like the goods man after just watching just one fight and you know i'm gonna leave this in the description box you guys watch it now i know the opposition we can say he was in there with somebody that let him you know look the way he did but he fights how he fights you know and i've seen some amateur fights too and he looks good man as far as a, a prospect coming up you guys watch the video tell me what you think about alexander teslenko let me know if i'm gassing him up if i'm if, you know am i giving him too much credit am i am i being a prisoner of the moment of his one fight and his gaudy uh amateur background and the amateur fights i saw or am i on to something will this guy be a future world champion or will he be a future uh you know top five contender i think he has the goods he's only 23 years old a lot to learn he has youth on his side ytbc i'm out